All right, let's move on to this. Chris Mitchell wrote a great column in The Australian yesterday. He spoke about China's dominance in the, in the car industry, but specifically in the electric vehicle industry <laughs> and this incredible hypocrisy um, because, as we know, China is lagging behind the rest of the world when it yep. comes to reducing emissions. And then we've got, you know, the, the, the pressure in Australia amongst the, the woke class... Uh, I, I'm not against electric vehicles, but there is this this pressure to move into electric vehicles benefiting China I, when I, they're not reducing their emissions. I'm a subject expert here as a frustrated Tesla owner, which I wrote about in The Australian and laid bare my hypocrisy. This is exactly what I'm talking about, Shari. It's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, there's this, this idea that, you know... Ch <laughs> The, the fact that, that, is, that this is the case is just, to me, this, this obvious joke that nobody seems to get and we're all, take, we're all refusing to be honest about it. Well, I always sort of think that there is this view amongst people which is ruin the earth to save the atmosphere. Um, now, we all know That's that great. Australia is 1% of global emissions, so yeah. even if we completely didn't exist, China replaces us in 16 days. China gets to not... Uh, uh, be held accountable to Paris they because they're care. a developing nation, a developing nation that yesterday said they want to put people on the moon. This not is not some part of Africa. They're not a mm. developing country. And when it comes to... Electric the vehicles. Electric yeah. vehicles, solar panels yes. that are made in China, mm. particularly solar panels that we're going to need 20,000 of a day mm. between now and 2030, they're made by slave labour. So they... which lane is it? And which, also, which, which abundance of care wins? 100%. Whose kids are we prepared to send down these artisan mines to dig the stuff up that is needed in abundance to produce the batteries? It's not your kids, Shari. It's not right. your kids. No. We right. They're out of sight and out of mind. Anastasia Palaszczuk. She's in hot water again, poor Murray. <laughs> she was busted, or her staff were, sending a generic response to a victim of crime who was seeking help. This is appalling. The, one of many problems with a government that has been in power for, what, 27 of the past 30 years is that you forget what it's like to not be in power. You forget what it's like to communicate with government rather than being the government that is communicating with the public. I was absolute at the last election. I will be absolute at the next election that, for many reasons, Labor has to go because of its tone-deaf nature. I mean, literally, they've got hospital patients at SeaWorld. Like, the, the, but, but what happens is, is that the PR machine of Palaszczuk in particular has got mm. so many people with connections yeah. back to the top of Mount Cuthra in the newsrooms there that what should be the 6pm lead is replaced by a thousand extra kids will get uh, one free say swimming lesson. the newsrooms though? Well that's yeah. the problem. That's my question. Like I've worked my background before real life was in a commercial TV newsroom yeah. and uh, But what's the more come granted, to life granted, if Chris Fully becomes old. Premier? Like granted I'm old no, right? No 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 but stop back all. in the day Okay but, but Gemma I want to ask you about this no, AI story because you wrote a great column on the weekend about artificial oh, yes. intelligence. <laughs> Look, um, Rishi Sunak held a conference uh, a few days ago in the UK. He invited global tech chiefs uh, to discuss artificial intelligence and this claim removed, this claim emerged that there are concerns that artificial intelligence could lead to, you know, people dying, like mm. quite... You know, it's quite serious consequences yeah, I saw that. if it's left unchecked. And I've, I'm a full believer that it should be regulated in some way. I'm not, I'm not pro-regulation in general, in general terms, but this is such an unknown quantity that's changing quickly. People who are way more tech savvy than me, not hard granted, but have explained the way that that could happen. And if you're talking about something that can manufacture your voice, manufacture your face, represent you falsely, yes. um, in, in, which is in a sense illegal and it's a sense of fraud. Of course it has to be. It has to be regulated in some ways. I am personally terrified at the idea, idea of AI and all I can say is for now... It needs human brains to program it, so cop that robot. Yeah, if you've seen the documentary Terminator or Terminator 2, you know how this ends. <laughs> yeah.